Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays a Dragon Board. Now it's time to speak with Summer to find out what she needs us to do next in our search to work against Vaunt's machinations. You're not the only one poking into Vaunt's secrets. I've got a guy from the Twelve, no less, who's looking to hire an adventurer to investigate Vaunt using, and I quote, means that may not be strictly legal. I'm guessing that won't bother you too much. And talk to Vin Arithal, an elf in the Twelve Robe, who looks like he's never been outside of a library. Right. Vin Arithal. Like he's never been outside of a library. Well, then what's he doing here? Hello there, I heard that you're uh, looking for someone to hire to work against Vaunt? Your name's Pride Frost, isn't it? I have a proposal for you. The Twelve has heard rumors of Vaunt's business ventures here in Sharn, and we are particularly interested in that new device of his, the Vaunt Arcane Assistant. Finding out how it is made and how it works has become a priority for us. To that end, I managed to coax a member of the Das clan into helping me find the answers to these questions. He told me that Vaughn stores blueprints and prototypes in a warehouse in the Lower Dura. And better yet, he arranged a meeting between me and a rogue Vaunt employee. I want you to attend that meeting on my behalf. Oh, uh, won't the informant be expecting you instead of me? I belong to the Twelve. Don't you think it would be a, would ring a few alarm bells if anyone saw me poking around asking questions? Setting up this meeting is all that I could do without stepping too far into the limelight. Besides, what we're doing here isn't quite the sort of business someone of my stature should be involved in. If you're up to playing stand-in, the meeting is set to take place in a tavern near Vaunt's warehouse in Luradura. You're looking for the warehouse shift manager. Assuming all goes well, he'll lead you inside, you'll grab the blueprints, and you'll find your way back here in one piece. So, what do you say? Well, I could try it, but I can tell you right now that in my experience, nothing's ever that simple. Anyway, I say time to find the shift manager. I'll do it, but it's not going to be that simple. I can be sure of that. I don't know. Anytime they call a quest, best laid plans, you can be pretty sure something is going to go wrong. See, there's a businessman. There's Victor Davonair. And there is a drunkard, a tourist, and a bartender. What could possibly go wrong here? I don't know. This adventure, like so many others, begins in a tavern. You're supposed to meet a disgruntled Vaunt employee here. He'll give you an off-the-record tour of the nearby warehouse. Right. I could just imagine this disgruntled employee. What kind of things he's going to do? Is he really disgruntled? Is he disgruntled at what we did? We'll have to find that out. Hello there. Hello there. Care to play some cards? Uh, pardon me, sir. Are you the warehouse manager by any chance? Hmm. Victor Dabonair, Vaunt Day Shift Warehouse Manager at your service. And you are... Uh, my name is Pine Frost. A mutual friend told me you could give me a tour. Take a look around the facility. Whoa, 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 hold on there, buddy. First, keep your voice down. I'd be risking a lot to help you, whatever it is you're looking for. Speaking of, what are you after? Maybe the less you know, the better for your own safety? Uh, all right, uh, corporate espionage is all well and good, but if I let you in, that would be my job and my head on the line. So... This is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you a back door way into through the ducts, and you're going to forget this meeting ever took place. Understand? Do 
we have a deal. Deal. All right, let us wrap up here and meet you outside in one minute. Mookie dokie. Uh huh. Meet me outside. I don't know. Sometimes the term "meet me outside" can mean some rather nasty things. Is this what he means by outside? Let's see. Victor leans over and whispers, "I don't want to lose my job. If you'll just follow me, I'll, I'll cough when it's time for us to part ways. What you do after that is none of my business." Uh huh. That's quite nervous. You're quite nervous. All right, I guess I could understand that. He's going to cough and we're going to be attacked by 500 people. That's what I'm pretty sure of, right? Oh my goodness gracious! I forgot to summon the cleric! Ah! Victor coughs and nods at a flimsy looking grate. Then he hurries away, disappearing into the night. That must be your way inside. Time for you to investigate the warehouse. Oh, okay. Well, for a moment there, I thought he was going to be setting us up. We well, could still be. Now that I've got a cleric with me, let's go inside and see what we've got. I'm sure I'm going to need that cleric. Experience. That's what tells you everything. Experience on how things quickly go south. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was some sort of huge monster. Optional, break some containers. Well, 50 of them. Um, good grief. Well, this is this. And look for the prototype blueprints. It's like they need to encourage a DDO player to break containers. Oh, well, iron sentries, I guess that should be no huge shock. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, golems, it's got to be there, some best laid plan, it's got to be there somewhere. Oh my goodness gracious, my constitution is going to be taking a real beating for this. <sighs> well, how bad off am I right now? Constitution is... has been damaged. Yeah, by how much? Neutralized poison. You're immune to natural poisons for the moment. Alright, let's see. Constitution is... Oh, only minus two. All right, I guess there are worse values it could be. Now that we've taken care of that little lot. Yeah. Yeah, how many of these containers can we actually break? It looks like we're getting pretty close to it. I have a feeling it's going to have another one after this called Break More Containers. I could already smell that happening. Because this seems to be pretty on in there. We're already help getting through. Yeah, there are only two left. There's got to be a... And there we go. Two right there. Yeah. Break more things. Yeah, another 60. Oh, we're not going to spend all night here just blasting away containers. We've got things to do. Oops. Oh, I guess oops for breaking things. Yes. Hmm. What's upstairs? Someone is burning the midnight oil behind this door, but the sturdy door is fitted with an even sturdier lock. We'll have to find another way in. 
Oh well. And we also have some more of these things. Oops. Yeah. More of these golems. Well, we'll see what we could do with this thing. Oh, haha, I think. I guess my dog must have tripped it. I don't think I've got much of it. Uh, unless the shield guardian has a trip skill. Yeah. Well, whichever one did the tripping, thank you for that. Yeah. I'm not going to be. Breaking all of those things. At least not yet. <laughs> but <if> they're there! <laughs> no matter how much you resolve not to break things in DDO, you do it anyway. It's just one of those ingrained habits. <laughs> Whee! Hmm. What's this thing here? Get into here? No. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Unless, of course, there's some sort of lever you need to press in order to do that. There you go. Maybe not that. We'll check some other places just in case. You can see, that was the. Hey, that's the door we can't get into. Maybe there's something that we have to do down here first, just in case. What's down this way? Nothing that way. Maybe I am missing a... Was I here already? Actually, this is where I started. Duh. Hold on. What's that? It's a good thing I came back here. There's a ledger there. According to this ledger, all of the blueprints have been moved to the office upstairs for shredding. You need to get in there. No, I do need to get into the office because they're shredding everything. Well, that sounds like they're trying to get rid of evidence. Right? I mean, I, I doubt Vaunt is trying to participate in a standard office recycling program or anything like that. It, it just doesn't sound like that. I think Vaunt is trying to hide something. All right. I'm going to have to see if I can find a way to get into that office. Ah, here's a place I haven't tried yet. And as for breaking the I was, I was talking about not breaking everything yeah I while I was away I managed to oh goggles of abjuration I managed to go and do the other two layers of this uh, I was hoping that would take us up but very bad jump, I guess. I was hoping that would be the way in in order to get there, but apparently I was mistaken. Actually, what if I try the attempt to jump from here? We Well, <laughs> well, I caught on that too early. How about a jump from here? This should be a... Oh, boy. Problem is, I jumped too high. Looks like a couple of boxes that I shouldn't have broken. Ah. Yes, let's break all the boxes, including the one you need to jump on in order to easily access the location. Yay! 
There apparently was a small point that I could jump onto that was down there where I could reach this. You hear a scream of pain from up above. A scream cut short with steel. Uh oh. By the way, I figured out that Festley plants. Best laid plans. We're looking for blueprints. The excited no bounces around. The roof is on fire. An otherworldly air of confidence surrounds the handsome being who appears to be their leader. Let's pick up the pace, shall we? still have to destroy the lab downstairs. Portal, please. Why not just take the stairs? Asked the tiefling. Because Victor told us not to be seen. Now then, portal! Lagging behind, the gnome notices you on the way out. It turns and howls, Bang, Father Hugger! Bang! Green, green, green. Alright, I guess we have to turn these off. Hold on. See, purple four and a square mm -hmm. get in the manager's office get in the office quickly purple purple four uh oh square i said right all right did that get us in Purple is the, yeah, but, did that help us in any way? Oh, boy. Time, 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 time. Uh, I'm not going to get here in time if I can't figure out the other two pieces of the puzzle. And, oh. Right? Four should be square, but what about the other parts? I can't find the other parts. Unless they're scattered all over the place, in which case the fact I didn't notice them earlier might mean that I'll never notice them now. Oh, uh, is there something I can see from here? Oh, here we go. Three on the square for orange. Uh-oh, this place is already on fire. Square. Well, uh, let's see what happens with both this one. Aha! Okay. Whatever documents were stored in the office are beyond salvaging. Still, there might be something useful down in the lab. Or wherever those mercenaries went to. Hear a familiar voice somewhere nearby. No! No! Oh, heal me! Heal me! Here, Orion, we have a security breach. Yeah, quickly, find them. Good grief! I'm on. Gonna be right to be made unplayable immediately. This is ridiculous. Ah, well, this is over. Really? Well then. That is... Alright, I was taken out of the battle right away. I wasn't allowed to do anything. Ah, well, I suppose that ends today's episode, and... Hopefully I'll find some way around this when I return for the next episode of Finding Plays, The Dragonborn.